Hello boys and girls, I'm Marina Namchu and uh, I hope that you have been watching my videos and that they have been helpful to you. So, you know, I have already finished explaining line by line uh, all the chapters in Echo's uh, ISC collection of short stories and now we will be doing something new today because I am going to deal with the characters and I will begin with the first chapter uh, that is uh, Fritz by Satyajit Ray. Alright, so let's begin boys and girls. You know in uh, the story uh, Fritz there are mainly two characters. All right? Number one is Jayanto who is the main protagonist of the story and number two the next character that we will uh, study about is Shankar who is Jayanto's friend. So let us now see what sort of a person Jayanto was. Now Jayanto as I said uh, he is the protagonist of the story and uh, you know we come to learn or uh, we already studied about it in my previous video that and we came to know that uh, Jayanto he worked in the editorial division of a newspaper. So he is a newspaper man. Now let us see his various char characteristics you know. The first thing that we will deal with is you know uh, Jayanto was a man who was uh, most of the time influenced uh, by memories. All right, now how do we elaborate on this point? Uh, you know, we can say that um, Jayanto was so influenced by his past that uh, when Shankar, his friend, uh, you know, suggested they decided to go to Rajasthan. Jayanto wanted to visit Bundi and no other place. All right, there were other beautiful places like uh, Udaipur, Jaipur, and Chitor, you know, with a lot of history. But Jayanto insisted on going to Bundi. All right, this is because he was haunted by his past memories. He wanted to go back to Bundi, which he had visited when he was six years old. Uh, with his parents, all right, and now he wished to return to Bundi again as an adult. Why? The reason why he wanted to do this was to compare the modern Bundi with the ancient one. All right, so that is point number one. Then we go to the next next point. That is, uh, Jento was. A person who was very quiet and he was lost in thoughts all the time. All right. Now we see this here that Jayanto was a very quiet man. He seemed to be lost in his past, always thinking about his past. And we see in the story that he was in very low spirits. The first day he and Shankar arrived in Rajas in Bundi, all right, and then we also see that you know uh, Jayanto was uh, always haunted by the memory of his doll Fritz. He was always haunted by the memory of his doll Fritz, and uh, you know, and because of this, he used to feel very depressed and emotional. The next point that we can elaborate on the character of Jayanto is um, as a single child. Now we see here that in the story that uh, Jayanto was the only child um, to his parents and because of that his parents loved him so much that uh, they pampered him. And uh, they used to shower him with all kinds of toys when he was young. And in fact, his parents gave him practically everything. He did not even have to ask for the things that he wanted. Now, Jento was not only loved, but he was also very loving. 
Now we see this character in him when he is presented with Fritz by his uncle who had visited Europe and who had bought Fritz from uh, Switzerland. All right. So, you know, we see that he is a very loving child, a very loving person, the way by, uh, by the way he treats Fritz as if Fritz is so, someone who is alive or the Fritz is an inanim inanimate thing because it's just a doll but Jainto we see he spends hours and hours just playing with Fritz and talking to him as if he was a real human being all right another thing as a single child Jainto was very very adamant you know his parents, when they saw that uh, Jainto used to uh, spend all his time playing with Fritz, they had even told him not to overdo things. But Jainto would not listen to them. He was stubborn to an extent. The next point that we can elaborate on regarding his character is that Jainto was a very sensitive person. A very sensitive soul all right he was we see that uh, when uh, you know uh, we read the story and we come to know how sensitive he was about his doll Fritz he could not uh, you, you know uh, when his um, doll gets destroyed uh, by the stray dogs who you know who play a tug of war with Fritz uh, Janto is very very disturbed and he's very sad for he is not able to protect his doll from the dogs and then what does he do being a sensitive person he buries Fritz near the deodor tree all right thinking that now Fritz is dead for him all right so he treats uh, Fritz the doll as if it were a human being now the other traits or characteristics that we can also lay stress on about Jainto is that he was a person with very strong senses now we see this when one night they are sleeping in the circuit house and uh, uh, Jainto hears certain noise, some strange kind of a shuffling noise. So, you know, in the middle of the night, he just gets up and he wakes. And he does not wake, but, uh, uh, you know, Sh Shankar, on hearing um, some noise in the room, he gets up. So, we can see that he, is, uh, he has very strong senses and he also tells Shankar later on that uh, whatever had walked over his chest did not have four feet but two and um, and the last point where uh, Jainto is uh, concerned we can say that he was a diffident man now um, you know he uh, when Shankar suggests to him that uh, in order to get in order to help his friend all right to get rid of this uh, weird uh, idea about Fritz, uh, Shankar suggests to uh, Jainto that they should go and dig the ground where he had buried Fritz. So in the beginning, when uh, Jainto hears this suggestion, he is quite happy about it, you know. But later on, again, he is a little reluctant, all right. He is a re little reluctant, so much so, you know, he even asks uh, Shankar, as to who would do the digging all right so these are the main uh, characteristics of um, Jainto that you can lay stress on if ever you are asked this question and of course uh, um, boys and girls what you have to do is you have to refer to the uh, the story and while writing the summary you can um, highlight on these points and uh, you can also elaborate on them. Now the next uh, character that we go to is the narrator. 
and the narrator is Shankar and by profession Shankar is a teacher and he is a very good friend of Jayanto. So let's start off with uh, Shankar. Number one uh, is that Shankar he is a very good friend. So throughout the story actually we have seen in the previous video that Shankar he appeared to be a very good friend to Jayanto. All right. It was, you know, because Jayantu had insisted on going to uh, Bundi in Rajasthan that um, Shankar had willingly agreed. All right. And when in Bundi, Jayantu was in low spirits, Shankar was very concerned about his friend. He wanted to know why he was feeling so depressed. All right. And Another thing we can find out, uh, I mean, we know is that um, Shankar can be called a good friend because when Jayantu wakes up in the middle of the night, all right, when he is disturbed by some noise and when he wakes up in the middle of the night, Shankar immediately gets up and he wants to know exactly what is wrong with Jayantu. The next point we can, um, you know, elaborate a bit about on is uh, Shankar was a caring man, all right. Uh, you know, the anxiety that Jayanto was experiencing, that he was going through, this concerned Shankar, all right? And, you know, Shankar wanted to make him feel comfortable, all right? And he even thought of going to the extent of uh, giving a tranquilizer to uh, Jayanto uh, so that, uh, you know, he could get a, uh, he could have sound sleep at night, all right? And then he just couldn't bear his friend Jayanto looking so sad and morose in such a beautiful place like Bundi. All right. And then uh, we can also say, you can also uh, add on that uh, Jayanto's restlessness, it always worried uh, his friend Shankar. All right. So here we come to know that he was a caring man. The next is, uh, next point that you can elaborate on, this is the third point regarding um, Shankar, that is the narrator, is that he is a man guided by curiosity. All right. Now, the narrator was a curious man that you can say, uh, you know, although he did agree uh, to uh, go to Bundi uh, after Jayanto had insisted on doing so, you know, he agreed. But you know, this, this uh, insistence that, uh, you know, that uh, Jento was making, it kind of made him very puzzled and uh, very curious. So, he, his confusion lasted till the time Jayanto actually told him on the train why he wanted to go to Bundi, all right, and uh, why actually... Uh, you know, he had uh, uh, visited uh, Bundi with his parents and uh, he wanted to see the changes that had come over uh, the place that is Bundi. So, you know, uh, and we also come to know that uh, he is a curious man because uh, he wants to know more about uh, the doll, Fritz, and uh, and it is only uh, when Jento tells him about the uh, mysterious uh, Fritz uh, and how, you know, um, a couple of stray dogs had destroyed him, uh, then only is he uh, kind of satisfied. And that is, Shankar is satisfied, okay? And uh, the next point that is, I think it's the fourth point that we are dealing with, is that uh, you can elaborate on the point that uh, Shankar was a smart and a very confident man. He was, um, you know, he had decided, you know, when he saw his friend suffering so much and uh, so sad all the time, he decided that he would bring back uh, Jayanto to normalcy. So it was he who proposed to dig the ground near the deodor tree where Jayanto had buried Fritz, all right? And he wanted to do this in order to help his friend get rid of his weird notions. And, uh, and the last point, we can say that Shankar was a 
light hearted man that means the narrator he was a very cheerful man like his friend he was not serious because Janto was a very serious person you know always lost in thought always deep in thought and you know when the gardener uh, with a sense of humor you know asked if there was some kind of a treasure uh, hidden under the ground and uh, whether he could have a share in it uh, the narrator he actually found it amusing and he laughed whereas Jayanto on the other hand we see that he was not at all amused so with that boys we have dealt with uh, the two characters uh, that is Jayanto and Shankar um, in the story Fritz and uh, if you highlight or uh, I mean if you elaborate on these points that we have discussed today then you will be able to uh, fetch in marks fetch in more marks that is if you uh, connect it to the entire uh, summary of the uh, story so with this I will end uh, uh, today's discussion I hope it will be useful to you and uh, uh, let me remind you once again that I will be uh, doing uh, the other chapters too uh, I will be touching on the characteristics and other points uh, which are of utmost importance uh, to you uh, so uh, before I actually end this I would like to tell you that uh, this is just the characters that we have done today and uh, we will be uh, touching uh, on the theme and title too so please um, stay tuned um, so that uh, you will be able to uh, catch on with the rest of the uh, other important points. So until then, bye-bye.